Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of the C Sharp Excel tutorial. And now we'll learn how to write data into an Excel file and how to save it. So, to start, let's make a function public void write to cell. And as before, we're going to pass in row and column number and what we want to write in it. Writing is pretty much the same thing as reading, only instead of getting the value, we are going to set the value. And just like reading, just copy out the increase number for easier iteration. And that's pretty much it. So now let's see and save those files. So let's make public void save. And this is just workbook.save. And we'll also make a public void save as. And here we'll need a location where to save it. So string path. Here it's workbook.save as path and that's pretty much it now let's try it let's create a function public void write data create the new excel object And we're going to use the same old test object. Test. And sheet number one. So, Excel. Dot write to cell. Zero, zero, and... Let's call it test2. Now we need to save it. So save. And let's make a save as as well. Let's call it test2. And one thing I forgot to mention, whenever you open an Excel application, you also need to close it. And we should actually make that function. So, public void close. Here we have Excel dot Oh, wait, it's actually workbook.close. And that's it. Here we have excel.close. And there we go. Let's add this to the load and see what happens. Start. It's all finished, and now let's look at our files. The default save folder is actually the documents folder. So here we have a test2. There we go. And we have that test file that we originally opened. As soon as it opens. 
There we go. And that's it. Writing and saving and also saving as a new file. And that would be that. Bye-bye.